sign of bad luck. <laughs> oh. Well, it's no laughing matter. The first time I noticed that when I met my third wife. Now, if that wasn't a warning... <laughs> You fellas had better settle down and be serious. Something is going to happen. Well, you won't meet any marrying females up. You're safe anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Quit talking about trouble. We do it the past now. <laughs> the other boys will guard the head of the pass. We'll wait for them at this end. Come on, okay, let's go. I guess we've lost them. Wait a minute, fellows! Here they go, over here! Come on! Yeah. You ain't hit hard, are you, Wolf? I reckon the old wolf is about through snapping. It's only a scratch. There isn't a bullet made tough enough to enter your old hide. Yes, that's what most of our kind think, son. Imagine we have charmed lives because most sheriffs are bad shots. But there's a bullet somewhere with our name on it, waiting for us. Wolf! What's happened here? The wolf's hit, Cookie. 
We've got to get him out of here. Save yourself, son. Never mind about me. We're all leaving here together. You and Cookie get going before it's too late. I... I'm through. We're not leaving here without you. Get him away, Cookie. You're off your nut, Wolf. If you think I'd ever leave here without you. Listen, son. You're riding out of here. And you're going to forget Wolf Hardy and his pack. What are you talking about? That bullet I stopped might have got you. The game ain't worth it. Go to some new country. Start over again. And go straight this time. Go round up the horses, Cookie. I think we can get out through that end of the canyon. What did you do that for? I hated to do it, Cookie. He wouldn't listen to reason. It's up to you, Cookie, to get him out of the Badlands and into new territory. You're alive. All right. Tell him the bullet finished me. I understand. I reckon that's the only way. Just in time for breakfast, Jim. Well, what happened, Cookie? Where's Wolf? The wolf's taking his last trail, Jim. You mean? The posse got him. I'll get the boys together and wipe out every last one of them. No, you won't, Jim. No? Who's going to stop me? I will. I promised the wolf that I'd see that you'd go straight. And I'll do it if I have to fill you full of holes. No, Cookie. You don't understand. I owe everything to him. He picked me up when I was a half-starved kid. Why, the least I The least do. you can do is to respect his last wish. When he cashed in, Jim, his last thought was of you. He wanted you to go straight. All right, Cookie. I guess you win. Yes, to the new trail, Jim. To the new trail. There's your time, Blanco. Now I want you to get off this ranch and stay off. Well, uh, what's the idea, Mr. Lanning? Wasn't my work satisfactory? I've got no fault to find with your work. But I told you to stay away from my daughter. And you disregarded my wishes. Well... Of course, if I'm not good enough to associate with your daughter. That's enough, Blanco.
Frank out? Hello, Judy. Wait a minute, I'll open the gate for you. I just got paid off. You mean? Fired. But why? Oh, I don't know. I guess your dad thinks I've been paying too much attention to his darling daughter. Fathers are funny that way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I'd wanted you to attend that dance with me tonight. I'd like to, but Dad wouldn't let me. Why? It'll be all right. You have no cause for worry. My sister's going to be there. she take care of you. Oh, it's no use. Dad... He'll never know. Come on, be a sport. Maybe the last time I'll have a chance to be with you. All right. I'll go. Fine. Now listen. I'll meet you down there. Looks like a pretty nice town. Well, I don't care how nice it is, so the beds are soft. Well, here's where we start rustling. What? For a new job. Well, it's going to be pretty tough to settle down to honest work. We can get used to anything in time. I reckon your corn's hurting again, huh? Yes, it did. You know what that means. Trouble. Forget it. Well, you, you know what happened the last time that corn hurt. when I play it. Well, you should tell me. I played alimony in every state in the Union. You, you had it right in the first place. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Coming off, bartender. A little wedding. A little cantina wedding. Well, this is luck. An old pal of mine. Turns up just now he's asleep. See about a room, Jim. All right. Pretty good stuff, isn't it? It certainly is. Yes, I'll have another. Oh, waiter, two more. 
This is pretty good country around here. Should be good picking. You're talking to the wrong man, Blanco. I'm looking for a regular job. <laughs> You'd be satisfied with 40 a month, eh? Well, I think you're a sap. Well, I'm the best judge of that. Well, you know your own business. How about the old days? Well, don't worry. Just don't you do any talking. And I won't. Fair enough, Blanco. I hadn't seen you around before, but I've been away some time myself. Are you the other part of this campaign wedding? Wedding? Aren't you going to marry Blanco Kid? Marry him? Why, no. I'm going to a dance with him. My mistake. I must have you mixed up with somebody else. On your own, Jim. Cooking? Blanco's up to something. Gerald's being framed. What makes you think that? Well, I'm not much of a hand with women. But the way she spoke, she's ignorant of any marriage. She's expecting to go to a dance with Blanco. Judy. Where's your sister, Blanco? I thought you said she was coming here with you. Oh, never mind about my sister. I've got a nice little surprise for you. Surprise? What do you mean? We're going to be married. Why, don't be absurd, Blanco. I'm not going to marry you. I'm not going to be married. Did you hear that, Cookie? What did I tell you? Where are you going? I'm going over to her. I got a hunch I might be needed. Well, I've gone and made all preparations. And I'm not going to disappoint my friends. button in here. I reckon the lady has something to say about who she's going to marry. Would you like me to see you home, ma'am? Now you stay out of it.
Well, he took your girl, Blanco. Yes, he won this deal. But the game's just starting. So, you did disobey me and go to this dance. I'm sorry, Dad. But I, I guess you were right about Blanco Kid. Did you have trouble with him in town? Yes. But these two gentlemen interfered and brought me home. Uh, well, it looks to me as if we owed these gentlemen a vote of thanks. Well, you could thank us with a couple of jobs. Oh, uh, looking for work, eh? Yes, sir. There's something like. Did you ever handle much stock? Mm. Why, yes. We've handled plenty of people's stock. Oh, yes. Often. Well, I just let my foreman go. I wonder if you could fill his boots. Well, I'm sure of it. You're hired. Come on, I'll show you where you can bunk. Boys. Well, have a good night's rest, and I'll see you at uh, daybreak. <coughs> Don't think it. What do you want to do? Spoil everything? Well, imagine that old buzzard. Then let's come in here and get a good night's rest. And get up at daybreak. Why, it's four o'clock now. Well, I'm glad, but then I'm used to something light. <laughs> Keep that light out so we can get a little rest. Daybreak. She sure is a great girl. See, you're nicely settled around here. So you know you're not welcome on this range. <laughs> I know that. But you see, I got a little deal on. And I'll need your help. I'm not interested. No? Oh, I think you will be. It's my eye on Lanning's cattle for a long while. That's why I kind of shined up to his daughter. But since... I'm not standing so well with Miss Judy. I'll need you. You've said enough, Blanco. Oh, yes? Well, now you listen to me. Either you come in with me, or I'm going to tell Lanning just who you really are. Why, well, how do you do, Miss Judy? You'd better get going, Blanco. Don't forget what I told you. You can find me at the cantina in town. Blanco Kid certainly had his nerve coming here. I don't think we'll be bothered with him anymore. How's everything going? Oh, fine. But I think Cookie and I'll be drifting pretty soon. Why? 
Don't you like it here? It isn't that. We're so used to being on the move. It's kind of hard to stay in one place very long. I'd hate to see you leave. Maybe you'll change your mind. Was that on the level about us drifting? I'm afraid so, Cookie. We may as well get going before Blanco starts talking. Would it hurt a feller's conscience to uh, kill a rattler? Meaning what? I thought I could mosey into town and have a little conflab with the kid. Forget it, Cookie. I appreciate you wanting to take the job off my hands. But after all, that's my job. Okay. What's that you say? Members of the Wolf Hardy gang? How do you know this? Say, who is this talking? Hello. 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 Oh, Judy. It looks like as if we had been taken in a plenty. What do you mean, Dad? Those buckaroos of yours seem to be outlaws from a notorious gang up north. Who told you that? I don't know. But it sounded very much like the Blanco Kid's voice. The kid would do something like that, just to get even with the boys for helping me. I think I'll have a talk with them anyway. Dad, remember what they did for me. Yeah. Maybe I won't talk to him right now. But I'll keep my eye on him just the same. I know it's tough, Jim, but it just ain't in the cards. Let's be drifting. Yeah. That's all we'll ever be doing. Drifting. I reckon a fella just can't put the old trail behind him. It's that Blanco's doings. I'd like to choke his rotten neck. Range. Well, you go around with the boys. We'll go on ahead. Ooh. 
Hey, roll out of your bunk. Russell's on the north range. Well, why don't you go after him? Hurry up, you lazy herders. How about your pants? Oh, we don't need any pants. Come it's on, dark get your pants. Oh, wow. He told me you were dead. I told him to tell you that. It was the only way I could get you to leave me. Well, Wolf, I'm going it straight like you wanted me to. I got a regular job now. I'm mighty glad of that, Jim. What brought you down here? The Blanco kid. He tipped off the sheriff about us up north. The Blanco kid? Well, I saw him downtown. You did? Well, here's where we have a showdown. Look. Beat it, Wolf. I'll take care of them. Pick him up, Wolf, and keep him up. Now get going. Let's just hold that picture. Captured the wolf and his gang, but that new man you hired, Jim, helped him to get away. Then he's one of the wolf's gang? Well, it looks that way. You ride into town and keep, tell the sheriff. All right. I mean, it looks as if the Blanco kid was right. Dad, I can't believe it. I don't want to. Hey, Sheriff, I want to see you a minute. Sheriff, Wolf Hardy's gang made a raid on Lanning's ranch last night. Did you boys corral any of them? Not yet, but they're out after them. 
You wait here. I'll get my horse. Now, listen, fellas. This is our big chance. The cowboys of the landing ranch are out looking for the wolf. Here's where we make our clean-up and get out of the country. Yeah? How about the sheriff? <laughs> Don't worry about the sheriff. I just saw him outside. Well, we got clear sailing. Come on, let's get me going. I didn't mean, mean to come back. Jim, can you walk? Please try. It's only a little ways. You hurt? I'm awfully sorry to be so much trouble. Cookie? I'm afraid I've spoiled Jim's chances by coming into this territory. I never suspected he was in these parts. I was only trailing the Blanco kid. Did you get a line on the Blanco kid? Yeah, I saw him in the saloon. I heard him say he's headed for the girl's ranch. Cookie, that's where we are headed for. I'm mighty grateful to you for not turning me over to the sheriff. You helped me once. And I suppose we have to repay a debt. Even to a rustler. Before I go, there is one thing you must believe. I didn't come here as a spy or a rustler. I only wanted a chance to begin over again. For over an hour. Where have you been? Well, I just went over to the corral. See if any of the boys had returned. Those rustlers must be giving them a terrible chase. I was just talking to the sheriff. He's liable to be here at any minute now, so but they've come in and have a breakfast.
Slim, you come with me. Trace, stay here and watch the road. What's the matter with you, Judy? You've been acting so strangely lately. Why? You seem to have something on your mind. Oh, it's nothing. All right, let's go have breakfast. Good morning, Lanning. Take it easy, Lanning. I came after something that's in that safe. Payroll. That safe is empty. Now you listen to me. I don't like you any too well. You get over there and do as I say, or I'll try. Come on in here, Slim. Go on over there and get that payroll. Shot came from the house, Cookie. What's going on here? Wait a minute, Sheriff. What's happened, Lanny? You're just in time to arrest this Blanco kid. And those two fellas, they tried to hold me up for the payroll. Take charge of him. Wait a minute, Sheriff. You've heard of Wolf Hardy and his gang, haven't you? Yes. Well, there's the wolf. Fella, here's his cop. And that old fogey you see over there is another member of his gang. Well, I guess I've rounded up the whole gang. Sheriff, I want a word with you. 
All right. Well, you you know, Lanning, you can't arrest a man unless you prefer charges. That's just exactly what I thought, Sheriff. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, well, uh, I take the kid along. Go on. Wolf, border's only a few miles from here. You and your gang should get across before I could meet up with you. I couldn't bring you back. Much obliged, Sheriff. It's all right. Thanks, Lenny. You're welcome. I'm mighty grateful, too, sir. Jim. Jim, Cookie, don't forget, we start on the roundup in the morning. <laughs> 